Lila isn't Lila, I think. I mean, like, her name isn't even Lila. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. On May 27th, two new episodes were released, the first one being Confrontation, episode 21, and Collision, episode 22. So starting off with Confrontation, Marinette has to give Lila the forms that each of her classmates filled out that basically just says what they want to do when they're older. I'm pretty sure most of the class actually filled the forms out when Marinette was still the class representative and that's why she had them, but now that she is not the class representative and Lila is, she has to give it to Lila, which makes Marinette really worried, as she should be though, because, I mean, this is Lila, so clearly nothing is going to go right. Lila and Chloe actually shred all of the papers and force Sabrina to forge each of their forms to say something like completely different. So like, for example, I can't really remember exactly what Julika wanted to be, but I know that Lila and Chloe had Sabrina change it to where she would be redoing the school year over again. So anyway, Lila ends up having this whole meeting with a few of the teachers and the principal to go over what people wrote in the forms, and even the teachers were like, uh, this I don't think is what they actually wanted to do. But of course, Lila being Lila was able to convince them that it's really what they wanted, so they kind of just went with it. And later when everyone is in class and they get their forms, obviously they notice that what was written on the form is completely different from what they wrote. And once again, Lila being Lila trying to frame everything on Marinette, Marinette's form was completely the same. Like, she had wanted to be a fashion designer and when she got the form back, that's exactly what it said. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because before that happens, before Lila starts trying to frame Marinette, Julika looks at her form and she sees how it said that she was supposed to redo the school year, which causes her to get akumatized. And of course, Ladybug and Cat Noir come in to save the day. She gets deakumatized, and then everyone goes back into the classroom, and that is when Lila starts to really frame Marinette. Marinette ends up bringing in the fact that Sabrina can forge writing, and that is when it was her time to start framing stuff on Marinette too, by saying that Marinette's the one that forced her to forge all of the writing. But Sabrina, being the amazing person that we all know she is, decides to not go along with it, and instead tells the truth and tells her that Lila is the one that forced her to forge all the signs, but also, then again, Lila being Lila was able to manipulate everything Sabrina said and kept turning it on her. Sabrina runs out of the room and then into the bathroom and Chloe and Lila follow behind and that is where Lila starts threatening Sabrina, saying that she would manipulate her father into arresting her. But surprise, turns out the mirror that was in the bathroom wasn't actually a mirror, it was a window and everybody in the class heard everything that she was saying, meaning that Lila finally got exposed for everything. I mean, because, like, while they were in the bathroom, not only was she threatening Sabrina, but she was also, like, admitting to manipulating everybody into hating Marinette and constantly, like, framing her. But yeah, so after that is when Marinette and Sabrina explain exactly how they set everything up, and Lila and Chloe ended up having to go to the principal, but, you know, Chloe being Chloe called her dad, and basically the mayor ended up firing the principal, but not necessarily because he wanted to or Chloe forced him to it. it it was more so because like Audrey was kind of forcing him to do it and like that's basically where the episode ends but not really. Lila basically just walks out of the school with nothing else to say and as she's walking down the street you see her pull off her hair. Yeah, it was a wig the whole time. And she goes up to these people and they call her a completely different name. Talk about biggest shock of the century. Like, not only was she fooling everybody in the show, she was also fooling the viewers. But yeah, this episode was definitely one of the best of the season. I feel like it was just one shocking thing after the other. Would definitely give this like 100 out of 10. It was so good. We honestly learned so much this episode. We got to see Sabrina finally turn her back on Chloe. We got so many adorable Adrianette moments. We got good Lady Noir content. I mean, there was very little Lady Noir in this episode, but the stuff that we got was really good. Such good teammates. And best of all, lots of drama. Now going into a little bit of a more deeper dive into this episode, I just wanted to say that I thought it was adorable how Ivan just wanted to be a stay-at-home dad. I don't know, I just like thought that that was so wholesome. He's honestly going to be one of the best dads ever. Like I feel like he's just such a big teddy bear and I love it. The next thing is Lila, or 
like whatever her real name is she is going to be such a good villain she's just honestly so good at manipulation i'm probably gonna make a whole video just talking about how good of a villain she would be because i have literally so much to say i honestly think that it's such a good thing that ladybug and cat noir are becoming stronger together and even like parisians are getting a lot stronger like they're able to resist akumas i really think that they're going to need to be able to do that in order to actually go against lila because she's just going to be that strong. And speaking of being stronger, one thing that I forgot to mention when I was doing an overview of the episode is the whole thing with the magical charm. So basically the magical charm can like turn into a shield and it can purify Akuma's on its own so you don't even really need Ladybug. Honestly so excited to see more of that in future seasons. Also, oh my gosh, I totally almost forgot to mention this, but the thing that Adrian wrote on his form was so cute. Oh my goodness. I mean, the fact that he has no clue even what he wants to do is kind of sad, but I just think that it's cute that, you know, he didn't have to write about Marinette at all. Like, he could have just put, I don't really know what I want to do and have that be done, but he chose to use that to talk about just how much he loved Marinette. Best Boyfriend of the Year award goes to him. And lastly, going back to the fact that Lila pulled off her wig, I saw a leak of her doing that forever ago, and somehow I was still shocked when it happened. It just like baffles me. Like I don't understand how she was able to create a whole new identity and nobody knew about it. And the last thing that I wanted to go over is the whole Sabrina thing. I think it is the most important part of this whole entire episode. I am so, so, so proud of her. I have been rooting for this since like the beginning of the season. Well, actually, I feel like I've been rooting for this even before this season, but especially during this season. She really deserves someone better. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about isn't the fact that she did what she did. It's the fact that it took her so long to be able to do what she did. Sabrina has been against every single thing that Chloe has been doing, along with Lila, this whole entire season. It's sad that they had to take things to such extreme lengths for her to actually say anything. If anything, I just feel like this whole thing really shows just how much of a bad friend Chloe was. There have been many times where Chloe will tell Sabrina that if they stop being friends, she will have no one. Which is why I think that she put up with everything for so long. Because of everything that Chloe kept saying, Sabrina really truly believed that if she didn't have Chloe, she wouldn't have anybody. And I feel like at the end of the day, she probably just would have rather had Chloe, who was a horrible friend, over having no friends, which is such a toxic mindset to put someone through. I really, really hope that in future seasons, people, good people, will help Sabrina learn that there are other people out there. Like, she won't be alone if she leaves Chloe.